this tutorial, I am going to show you an easy way to create 3D mockups with stunning 3D environments. You can use this method to create any type of environment, from nature to a city, a dessert, and so on. You can use any t-shirt model for this tutorial, however, if you would like to use the walking t-shirt I am using, it is available to buy through the link in the description. This tutorial uses a number of free models, which I downloaded from Sketchfab. Sketchfab is an amazing resource to access thousands of completely free models. Seech for whatever you would like, select Downloadable, then go to Licenses and untick everything other than CC BY. Scroll down and select a model. You can click and drag to view different sides of the model. Scroll down and click Download 3D Model and choose GLB or GLTF format. All the models I have used are available for free. The links are in the description. If you are using my walking t-shirt mock-up, open up the download folder and open the Blender file. If you are not, simply open up Blender and import your t-shirt model. To start, show the axis and floor to make it easier for us to navigate the scene. Next, import the street model. Double click to rename the object. Select the objects, hover your mouse over the 3D viewport, and press Ctrl plus J to join all of the pieces together. Rotate it around 90 degrees and place it just below and behind the T-shirt model. Increase the scale to 3 to increase the size of the model. Import the wall model. Reduce the scale to 0 0.3. Position it at the back of the road. Let's add a camera. Select all the current cameras, right-click, and select Delete. Hover your mouse over the 3D viewport and press Shift plus A. Select Camera. Change the resolution to whatever you would like. I am using 1280x720. You can select this icon to activate and deactivate the camera view. 
Reduce the FOV to reveal more of the scene. Position the camera so that your t-shirt model is central in the scene. Next, let's import the cars. It is the same process again. Increase or decrease the scale and position the models in your scene. Select this icon to preview how your scene will look when it is rendered. The lighting is not right. We need to change the HDRI. Go to World, we already have an HDRI set up in the walking t-shirt mockup. If you don't, you can copy the setup into your file. Connect object to vector. Remove the current HDRI. Add the new HDRI. We are using a free one from HDRI Haven. I will leave a link to it in the description. Change the rotation of these values. I tested these earlier, and it creates a nice balance of highlights and shadows in the scene. Now we need to remove the transparent background of the scene. Go to Filmic and untick Transparency, and then go to Post Processing and untick Compositing. Now when we preview the scene, you can see the HDRI in the background.
Now, we need a floor in the foreground. Press Shift plus A, go to Mesh, and select Plane. Change to Edit Mode and right-click the plane. Select Subdivide. Do this five times. We need enough polygons for our material we will add next. We need to add a modifier. Select Add Modifier and select Subdivision Surface. Select the plane and go to the shader tab. Add a new material. Hover over the shader window and press Command or Control plus A and search for an image texture. Press Command or Control plus D to duplicate it. For the next steps, copy as I do. The texture I am using is a free snow texture. I will link to it in the description. If everything is set up correctly, you will now have a snow texture on the plane. Let's make some small adjustments to make it look better. Right-click the plane and select Smooth Shading.
The car on the right is looking a little too bright. Left click the metallic bonnet. On the right you can change the base color to a darker gray. Now let's animate the camera. Select it in the top right window. Make sure you are at the first frame in the timeline. Adjust the location value so the camera is at a distance. Select the small diamond icon next to Y to set a keyframe. Go to the final frame, use the Y location value to zoom the camera all the way in. Select the diamond to set another keyframe. Now you can scroll through the timeline to view the animation. It's looking good. Let's import a mountain for the background of the scene for one last touch. Now, we're ready to render. Increase the max samples to 500. You can render one image to see how everything is looking, and you can test how long it takes to render one frame. For me it takes around 1.5 minutes. If you want it to render faster, you can decrease the render samples. If you are happy, choose a save location for your animation. Finally, press Render, and then Render Animation. Thank you so much for following along. If this video provided value to you, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing. See you next time.